Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing a review of the European markets for the trading session. We have the 11th of September 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the the uh, app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, basically, Asian markets hammered again overnight. Trade concerns, obviously, uh, pending. Um, Russia, uh, should we say Russia, China? Well, Russia and China have actually signed a deal, and that certainly will obviously uh, certainly piss America off to a large extent. But who cares? Um, I, I mean, in the day, in the day, if you do uh, take unilateral action, uh, again, it's um, it's going to ca cause uh, repercussions, and that's exactly what America is seeing right now. Okay, so one of the repercussions at present is the Chinese. Okay, the Chinese have actually lodged a complaint at the World Trade Organization. Uh, again, uh, China's request for trade sanctions versus U.S. related dumping dispute initiated in 2013. Uh, U.S. officials suspect Russia is mystery. Oh, ignore that. Okay, China cites U.S. non-compliance in 2017 trade dispute ruling. China demands to to authorizing to authorization to impose trade sanctions on U.S. Now, to a large extent, that's actually bullish, given the fact that the Chinese haven't actually gone and obviously retaliated in terms of, of their own tariffs. They've actually gone through the world WTO. That certainly is, from that large, from that perspective, certainly is bullish. Uh, the way in which I understand it, okay, uh, but nevertheless, uh, Asian markets certainly obviously down. That certainly is causing some concern. Having said that, though, uh, I do expect European markets to weather the storm, except the FTSE. Now, the FTSE certainly has caused some confusion for me. Uh, yesterday, I went long. Well, I went short on the fact that we had Brexit uncertainty, political uncertainty there with regards to Boris Johnson versus Theresa May, and obviously, given the fact that we had stronger GDP numbers, which means a stronger sterling, which in turn obviously hurts the FTSE. The FTSE actually moved higher, which is quite strange. So then I then switched my bias to long, uh, and, I, and then I closed this long position this morning, given the fact that the FTSE failed to move higher with the European markets to a large extent, and especially with US markets as well. Now, this morning, the FTSE, on the back of stronger wage growth, okay, uh, and job numbers certainly is uh, obviously moving higher, again, in anticipation of a hawkish BOE, which in turn obviously causes sterling to rise, which in turn causes the FTSE 100 to fall. Very strange. Now, the FTSE 100 certainly is under pressure quite significantly. I was expecting the daily chart to have held, uh, this bottoming tail to have held, this previous resistance equal support to have held. But it looks like the FTSE 100 now wants to go below and test 190 by the look of things, even potentially lower. So it certainly seems that uh, the stronger sterling is hurting the FTSE to a large extent. Okay, let's see if that can continue. 10 minute chart. We are now back into that double bottom support. We've hit a pivot low of 7224. Can we bounce from here? That's the question. Okay. Can we bounce? That's the question. So, FTSE certainly continuing its uh, swoon. We do have an unfilled gap above that, uh, 7280. Do we close up? Okay, that's a good question. Let's see how the market certainly reacts there. In terms of the rest of the uh, Eurozone and the economic data there, nothing really of major concern. Uh, French non farm payrolls came more or less in line. Other than that, nothing really of any major market moving event. Let's have a look at the technical picture for the uh, Euro European equities. Again, like I said, looking at testing at double bottom now. Uh, certainly putting in a top bottoming tail here. Daily chart as well, ever since we close the gap. The German DAX certainly is aimed to support. French CAC as well, same concept with regards to French CAC here. Let's have a look. French CAC is actually showing more strength than the uh, the German DAX. It actually hasn't tested that the low. It's actually putting in a higher low, which in turn obviously is considered to be bullish. And there is an inverted head and shoulders formation brewing here as well. So let's see if this inverted head and shoulders formation can trigger and uh, trigger reversal up to gap fill above at uh, 35340 so watch out above in terms of the french cac as well okay french cac on the daily chart just give you an insight here as well obviously over here since it hit hell at double bottom support certainly seems to be holding and now we're looking to could potentially close the gap above at 5340 so watch out above that certainly is an area to watch out in terms of the next market move again going back to the FTSE looking for a potential double bottom scenario holding here and then the FTSE 100 certainly moving higher. Okay, so I think that's a good summation, really, of European indices. Uh, again, uh, the scenario with regards to a stronger sterling versus a weaker FTSE continues, given the fact a lot of the uh, major organizations uh, bring, bring their obviously, money in terms of dollars, and uh, obviously a stronger currency hurts their potential profit scenario as well. Okay, so that's basically where we stand. Uh, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Goodbye now.